<clears throat> All right, uh, Machiavelli. Um, we're going to um, try to get you started here using your Pinnacle Studios. Um, okay, then I guess I'm not deleting that. Uh, anyways, this is for uh, Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate. Which should be, you know, I th I think you're using 14. I'm not sure, but um. Anyways, uh, try to get you started here. Like I said, I'm not gonna go in too much uh, detail right now. I'm not gonna get that much in depth right now because you're pretty much, I think, just getting the overall basics of how to actually use Pinnacle Studios for. Pretty much montages, which would be for I believe Modern Warfare only or whatever you need. Um, and uh, so yeah, I guess we'll get started here. Um, you already know how to capture and everything like that. Um, you need any render settings or anything? Let me know. I'll help you out with that. Um, for the setup, I got a good setup for it. We'll do that right now, actually. Um, just in case you uh you need it or anything, we'll click on it real quick. I'm gonna be going through a lot of lag throughout this whole entire video because I had my dazzle plugged it. No I don't, I just unplugged it, never mind. Had my dazzle, got my PS3 i camera plugged in, got my headset plugged in, got an extra USB plugged in for my uh my flash drive and everything. But anyways, okay here at this screen um, when you are doing your settings, do not mess with any of these up here. Um, of course it also, obviously, uh, depends on what you're actually working with, whether you're using like HDMI cables, um, S cables, I'm just using component cables, so it all really, I guess, depends on what you're doing. Um, but if you just got, like, because I know you're using your Dazzle, if you're, uh, you're just pretty much recording your gameplay to uh without HD or anything then I wouldn't touch any of that just make sure your uh your presets on AVI and best do not mess with them capture source um it's pretty obvious right here you would you would select dazzle and down here you would select dazzle do not touch anything down here do not touch anything over here leave everything the same only thing you should have to mess with is the video and the audio for the capture device and the capture format ABI and best that's it you don't have to deal with this and you don't have to deal with this I would just leave it the same um okay and to start it off obviously your folders up here you have to click on this folder right here to select your video depending on where your videos at which most of the time it would be in my, my documents and my videos but I don't have anything in my videos. I always store mine in desktop, which is what a lot of people do with, especially with um, videos that they're actually working with. And as you can see, my videos are right there. Open it. You don't really have to select one. You can just hit open. Um, and all the videos that are contained in that folder. Actually, I think I do have to click on one. That's my bad. My bad. But uh, even though um, you click on, for example, just one of them anyone you want doesn't matter I, all the videos in that folder will be up in here every single video will be up in here so these are all the videos that were in that folder so uh... and right now on my combo stage one and two which was this was from the very first montage i was making um, usually they're separating the clips when you first capture a video they'll be separate like when you upload them and uh... you bring them onto pinnacle studios and you go through them and you bring them up here um, it would usually just show one little image and then you right click it on it and then you go to subdivide scenes and when you do that you could do them in 10 seconds which is what I usually do but mine's a short video which are I think they're in like one second scenes two second scenes or something like that okay 12 five seconds but yeah there's a two second scene mine are already divided into uh, my own scenes I guess you could call it because like I said I've already been working on this video so, and you highlight it in orange, click on it, and then just drag it down, and then just let go. 
and then there's the first clip. Same thing here, drag it down, move. This is your timeline, this is what you're going to be working with. So no matter what you do up here, everything that's down here is going to stay here, no matter what you change over here. Um, then I can click on this one down here, or I could just highlight the rest of them if I want the rest of them down there. Throw them in here, and when they when you do put them in here, if they're all highlighted, they're still going to go in the order that the actual video is in. Um, <coughs> that's pretty much it. And the same thing, like if you wanted a different video, whether it's in a different folder, you'd go over to the folder and then pick, you know, pick its location and uh, do the same thing. Like here, I'm gonna switch to new tubes and javelins, and I'm here. So um, you can do the same thing. Take these videos, drag it down to add, or you could move it somewhere else. Like if you want it before a clip that you already have, you could always move it. Even if you already have it here, you could let go. And your clip's on here. If you want it somewhere else, you could easily drag it over and leave it, you know, put it somewhere you want. Now it's at the beginning of my video. So uh, that's pretty much it for the actual um, the clips, the video clips in your video. Besides the fact, like here, um, you could also drag, like as long as you got the uh, the video clip highlighted, which would be in dark blue, which which is what it is in now. Um, if you wanted to trim it from left or right, whether it's from the beginning, like over here, move over until you see that little blue arrow. Click on it and drag it over, and this is how you could trim your video to where you want it to start or stop at. Same thing with the other side of the video. You can come to the end of it click on it drag it over to where you want it to stop and that's that's pretty much it and uh... um... i believe that's it for the actual i don't know if i'm really gonna have if you're gonna be able to actually hear the sound on my video we're gonna see if it'll actually work because last time i did this it was kinda hard to hear so uh... Yeah, like I said, it, it's pretty pretty simple stuff. Um, like I said, everything's not going to be in sync with each other right now because, like I said, you know, I'm going to be lagging while I'm trying to record and trying to be on Pinnacle Studios at the same time with everything hooked up to my computer. You know, the computer's trying to do everything at once. And but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is this is this is pretty much it just for the uh, the actual the clips. Um. So yeah.